Hi, my name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and motivational speaker. It's review day! Ooh, yeah! What are we reviewing today? Possibly the best sleeping bag compression sack on the market. The Event sleeping compression bag sack things from Sea to Summit. Are the Sea to Summit sleeping bag compression sacks the best on the market? Well, let's find out. So, I know it seems like a, a pretty boring thing. You know, oh, really, you're talking about compression bags, but, ooh, that looks kind of weird. But it's actually a big thing simply because what you put your sleeping bag in really matters when you're doing an expedition up a mountain, you're in the Arctic, you're... You're, you're trekking across the country, whatever you're doing. Now, granted, now weight is a huge concern. I mean, you don't want to, you don't want to have more weight than you absolutely have to carry. But you also have to protect your sleeping bag because if your sleeping bag gets utterly soaked, what are you going to do? You're going to have a long, unpleasant, miserable night. So therein lies the okay. I should put this sleeping bag in a silicone nylon bag or maybe a waterproof bag, but it's really, really hard to squash those sleeping bags down because they expand. Well, I found the Sea to Summit. So here's the Sea to Summit. There we go. Sea to Summit Event Waterproof Fabric Bags are, I mean, at least in my experience, the best compression sacks for sleeping bags for expeditions on the market. Uh, by the way, b before we go on, just if you could take a moment and hit that subscribe button right, right below the video here. There's a little subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. That just helps support my channel. It's, it's pretty easy to do. And also, as a word of disclosure, I do not receive financial compensation. I don't receive free sacks from CETA Summit or any of the other vendors. So uh, this is just my honest review. I've, I've got lots of experience doing this. I've been to... Antarctica, I've been to the Arctic, I've been on high tough mountains like Denali and Kilimanjaro and Elbrus and Orizaba and Ixacoala, Mexico. So I've been around a few places. Also, where is it? I authored Adventure Expedition 1 with Dr. Terry Williams. This is actually a book about how to do your first expedition, come back alive and have a good time, plan it, train it, do it and live it. So I've had quite a bit of experience doing these things. So I've got two of these compression sacks right here, and I'm going to show you how they work, the drawbacks, the things I really like about them, and you know, are they really worth the money? Now, they, they look pretty complicated. I mean, you've got this, these, these four straps on here. You've got this extra fabric here. You've got this rolly deal. Is this all really worth it? And I have to tell you, absolutely yes, because what will happen is if you're trekking across Greenland on the Arctic Circle Trail and you're having a good old time and all of a sudden you're crossing a river, you slip like happened to me and the sleeping or your, your backpack goes Gush! in the river. You have to toss your bag and try and recover yourself. If your sleeping bag gets wet and you're in the Arctic and it's minus 30 degrees and it's blizzarding and you soak your sleeping bag, do you know what's going to happen next? Yeah, exactly right. So of all things, protecting your sleeping bag is one of the most critical things to your outdoor survival experience. Yeah, it best to come home alive. So why do I like these bags so much? Well, first, of course, like most bags, they come in various sizes. Second, which, uh, duh, but it is a consideration. This bag is a, this is an XL bag, and this is what I use to stuff in my heavy or my midweight and my heavyweight Western Mountaineering Puma and Western Mountaineering Bison sleeping bags. This bag is, uh, let's see, what do we got here? This is the medium bag, and this bag will hold my Western Mountaineering Antelope bag, which is a five degree bag. It's got, uh, it's, it's got uh, just about three pounds of feathers in there. The large bag, would be nicer for a little bit more space, but then it's just more weight. The XL bag is very good for my midweight expedition bag, a minus 25 degree bag. So let me show you 
how this all works. And in fact, it, there, there's a little bit of uh, wording on here in on the lid. You can see some of the instructions, and it says in English, fold down roll top closure at least three times to dramatically improve the waterproofing, and clip the buckle. Position cap, pull straps tight. Event fabric is gas permeable to let the air out, but it does not allow the water in. However, in large font bold, let's see, where is it? It says, do not submerge. So, do not submerge, hand wash in warm water only. Don't run these things through the washer. So, even though it's a waterproof bag, it's waterproofing these splash, uh, like fall in the water, come right back up. If you put your sleeping bag in this bag and dunk it, water will permeate. So uh, that, that's just something to know. They're called waterproof, but only up to a point. This isn't like my my adventure watch where you know, I can I can dive a hundred meters down and assuming I survive and all that, just uh, skin diving, you know, no problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how these bags work, how uh, how good they are. And also you'll notice here, there is a piece of stiff plastic in here that actually keeps the lip, you can see it actually holds its shape, that keeps the lip close. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scoot the camera back just a touch, and I'm gonna show you what it's like to stuff your sleeping bag into these things and some of the tricks. The number one thing you want to do when you're putting your sleeping bag into a stuff sack like this is put the foot first. Do not put the head first because the air gets packed down at the foot area and then it makes it really freaking hard to put the bag in just because the air gets all stuffed up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to time me. I've done this quite a few times, like hundreds, and we're going to see how long it takes to get this stuffed in. So we're going to st start the timer. Now, of course, I'm sitting in a little bit of an awkward position, and that's a good simulation of sitting in your tent. So what you do is you just begin stuffing the sleeping bag in here, and you don't have to roll the sleeping bag. Uh, rolling sleeping bags really stinks. This works far, far better. And of course, I'm never really talking to myself, stuffing my sleeping bag on an expedition. So it's a little bit different experience for me, but just want to show you what it's really like and some of the tricks about the event compression sack from sea to summit. Okay, so this is pretty full and you think, wow, that, that's pretty ridiculous, Aaron. I mean, that thing's huge. And this is where the magic of the lid and your body weight come in. So what I do is I ram the bag down as much as possible and then let me move back here a little bit. I squish it with my chest and I put you know, my weight on there and I slowly mush down the down. And now, there we go. Now I've got some room in the top and I keep squishing it down. I use my body once more. You can hear the air hiss out and I put the plastic this direction. And I'll mush it down one more time so you can you can hear that air come out. There we go. And I flap it a couple times, get my minimum three rolls on there, flip it over, click. Okay, that's phase one. But the bag isn't as small as it could be. So this is where the lid comes in. Now initially it is kind of awkward because the four straps have to be loosened. This is pretty normal, but at least your sleeping bags contain. And what you do is you bring this around on the top. There we go. Cool. All right. Let me pull back just a bit so you can see that. So it takes a little bit of fiddling because there are four straps. And I get each of these set and I just kind of go opposite, opposite. And. You make sure that the nylon is lipped up on every side. And what I do is I don't just try and pull this down. Instead, what I do is I use my body weight to mush down the bag. And then I begin compressing it. Now, I'm crushing the heck out of the down in the sleeping bag. 
However, it doesn't stay like this all day I, I, or like a week. You don't want to run with your sleeping bag compressed like this for a super long time because the down does break down. And that took me three minutes. So there you go. I have converted three pounds of down in a five degree bag, a Western mountaineering bag, into something the size probably, you know, not, not even in my chest, but something that totally fit in the bottom of my sleeping bag without problem. Easy. Let's do it with the bigger bag and see how much fun that is, just to show you again. So I'm going to clear the timer and I'm going to work as fast as possible. And this is what it's like. I mean, everybody's waiting outside the tent. You're the clown that is still not put things away. And you'll see with the Gore-Tex bag, it becomes much tougher, much quicker to get this stuffed in there because that down expands so much more. So, we'll just keep doing this, keep doing this. Yeah, there we go. Let's see how fast I can do this. All right, and you can hear that and you can see just how foofy this gets and that's why you always put the foot first. It is, yeah, keep going there. Now you'll see on the clip, I've actually broken the nylon clasp a little bit. One of the teeth is still alive, thank goodness. And this is much harder to do when you've got a Gore Windstop bag and you're trying to ram it in here. It's kind of irritating. Yeah. And I wonder if I could send this to Seed and Summit and have them replace that. We gotta check that out. All right, so keep focusing on getting the job done. This is the same process I've used hundreds and hundreds of times in the outdoors. Oh yeah, baby. Get that punch down there. Use your fist, it's easier. Good, and then we'll compress it one more time and prepare to roll. Okay, I'll do that. One, two, three, four rolls is usually what I can get. And I clip this guy in. Okay, and I come around and the trick is to flip, drag up, Put it on and the nice thing about these Cedar Summit bags I don't put some ridiculous tag on there from branding it's just a just some uh, ink and dye all right so you know that when I'm under pressure and I'm prepping my sleeping bag as an expedition and to get out of the tent let's see how long is this gonna take me and just keep working this bag down because it's gotta fit in my backpack all right boom so when i'm really focusing on the job it takes me two and a half minutes to get a huge sleeping bag compressed down into something that will work in my backpack kind of sort of also a nice carrying handle on the bottom and there you go so the event compression sack for your sleeping bag i cannot recommend it enough uh, it's by Sea to Summit. Uh, by the way, I don't receive, uh, did I already say this? I don't receive any compensation for Sea to Summit. I don't get free bags. I just do the re reviews. Like I wrote this book uh, with Dr. Terry Williams to share my experience with you. That way, when you're going out in the wilderness and you're going on an expedition or you're just going hiking or going somewhere crazy or whatever, you know how to keep your sleeping bag dry and thus yourself safe. My name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and motivational speaker. Please like and comment on my video. Just hit that little thumbs up button. Also subscribe, hit that subscribe button there. And I will put links to the sleeping bags, the event compression sack and my book. So that way you can check everything out. You just hit the little arrow below the video. It expands and you can find all the links there. Also, please support my channel on PayPal and Venmo. Thank you very much for watching.